this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Michael Van Schellenbeck brought two of his Geo Metros. He daily drives Geo Metros. I have no idea why. He drives like a 700 horsepower BMW at events, but those are his dailies. And we must have bought one of them for like an extra motor or something. Such a weird, weird thing to do. They're three cylinders. Oh, and there's his race car. That looks like a 350Z is pulling a trailer. Welcome to Lone Star Drift Circuit of America's All the drivers here today are doing right, well not every driver, but most of the drivers are doing ride-alongs. And they're taking passengers out on track and entertaining them. We also went out on track on the main track at Circuit of America's, did all kinds of rad stuff. But like, look at that. So many happy people going on track. What else? Harrison is doing three dudes at a time, just like normal at home. <laughs> In the car that he won at a Lone Star Drift event, the JZX90. Which is working really well considering it's an automatic. We have Ian Trinidad, Fielding Shredder, a super cool stands out Hero V36. That we featured before. Yeah, we did. That was a popular episode. That was one of the weird ones that went viral. Aaron is losing his voice. And we have UTVs. These were originally scheduled to jump and we're gonna put a jump on track and I wanted to jump the Corvette. We have all these like little like dune buggy things from Sierra Life Motorsport. Patrick is making a killing. Sai shooting while I'm shooting. Look at him. You can watch him in real time becoming obsolete. Yesterday, once the day started going, 
we had probably thousands of people come through here and it was really exciting. It got really busy so bad that Circuit of America put guards at our gate over here on our specific track location and aren't letting cars in because we flooded this place and you can barely walk around because there are so many cars and stuff parked. Fielding. This here in his big car, two JZ car. How many oh. ride-alongs have you given? This is the first one of the day. How many total? Uh, I think I'm about 36 now. 36? Hopefully he's gonna break 50 or 60 today. The ride-alongs are 20 bucks a piece. He normally gives at one of our normal demos more than 50 in one day, but um, because the days are short, because the sun sets early, and because we can't be on track until after, or like until five, it's a little bit shorter. And yesterday, it was freezing cold. With a wind chill, it was about 35 degrees. This IS is super cool. This is Andrew Hudson. He's been driving with us for probably a decade now. Jimmy H, super cool R32. Car always looks beautiful.
the best model you can get. But he moved the radiator to the back. try and drift a car like that. It's kind of interesting and fun. And it actually drove really, really well and was not difficult at all to drive. It's kind of kind of crazy how close the pedals are together too. So not only do you not have a clutch pedal, but he's just operating them with one and it's his left foot. So he actually scooched those over so they'd be closer to the left foot. So normally the gas pedal is farther that way, but he moved it over that way. And then I think he moved the brake pedal. I don't know. I assume he probably moved the brake pedal. And then this thing is super race car. That's all the stuff that controls the hydro hand stuff. So he has some type of mechanism that does all that. He has a cooler for it and everything up there. So that's kind of kind of crazy to have a cooler for your hydraulics, clutch, and handbrake controls. That's above my pay grade. I don't know what's going on. This is race car. You'll notice he has a fuel system but then he has to have a firewall to block it all off. So because you do a fuel system and it goes inside the car at this point, um, he then has to go and make a divider so the fuel can't spray on him and kill him. 
So that's something we require for safety. And then he just doesn't run a whole back of the car, and then that changes the game. I'm actually driving now for a second before we conclude this video. as well I don't even sell my own merch I let careless do it so that one of the reasons why people always complain that they can't buy the merch on the website is because I don't have time to ship it out and I'm like in Africa for a month sometimes and I'm all over the place so I just do a really good like not good job bad job selling it so these guys take care of the merch sales they have t-shirts up they have the Lone Star Drift the little oil tycoon dude that we stole off the Simpsons People are signing waivers, so they can go take ride-alongs. Which car are you going to go ride in? Man, I have no idea yet. Oh, you don't know yet? Uh, no, I don't know. The purple 240. Yeah. Nick Behrman. Yeah. Awesome. We have stickers. So Evan makes all these. I don't even make them. Where's the beer can one? Oh, this side. Yeah, they made a bunch of these. They ripped off the beer can completely. Mind you, I don't even make these. Don't blame me. This is just other people making stickers for Lone Star Drift, which I find super amazing. Yeah, I don't really have time to merchandise stuff very well. I'm a driver and I really enjoy driving and like messing with cars, which leaves no time for like the merchandise section of all this. Okay. And then our buddies from the Rally Ready School I always say it wrong because it's a rally ranch, but their company is rally ready. I brought out some UTVs to show off. So right down the street, just a couple of miles, a friend of mine, Dave, owns a rally school. Uh, when we did the thrashing in the dirt, uh, like drifting Mustang video in the dirt, and when I drove a Corolla out there and stuff, that's his place. You've probably already seen it on our channel if you watch a lot. But they have these things. You can go learn to drive rally cars. But rally cars are kind of too complicated and expensive, and these are turnkey and simple, so they teach in these, which is really cool. And Fielding Shredder is actually an instructor out there. And then they do have cars if you want to rally a car, but again, they're a bit more complicated. And you can jump those things way more. And then I did a video that I was just explaining earlier with the chair slayer on these things. Those are mental. That's 330 horsepower and 1,100 pounds with full aero and everything. It's a Pikes Peak Hill Climb car, and you can buy those babies and drive them.
His car never breaks. I don't get it. He doesn't even take care of it. You don't say. He's a freaking businessman. He is doing a fantastic job. Good job, Fielding. I'm proud of you. What is this? So it's a spin to win. So you pay five bucks and you can spin and whatever you land on your win. This is gambling. Have. You can't gamble. This is illegal. This is. Are you giving alcohol to children too? No. We don't have any alcohol or else I'd be drinking it. Oh. A meme. You have no idea how long it took to prep for all of this. And it's just me. <laughs> Did you make all this? Everything. Oh, I cut this out with a really shitty knife. Yeah. Not because the sneaker is just a white outline, but I had to put a red vinyl piece of vinyl behind it, and then I had to like cut the outline with a really shitty knife, and it was so hard. That's Ready? hilarious. All right. Wow, he's already back. That was less than two minutes, and he already picked up another person. We'll look at this for just a second while we wait for him to get back. size of a turbo and this tiny thing. I like how it has an external gate and everything on something this small. And it's a Hayabusa engine if you needed to know. And a really fancy seat. Oh my goodness. It's got a full size battery. They must be using that for ballast or something. That's a big battery for this thing. Because you would think a motorcycle like sized engine would only need a motorcycle battery. I could ask them about that later. It probably is some type of ballast thing for some type of uh, rule book thing. Probably because it does wheelies without extra weight there. You're doing like 20 bucks every two minutes. You're doing good. No, it's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Did you have fun? Oh, hell yeah. Was that was good? awesome. This is the first ride I've had with a Lone Star boy, but I've come to a couple of events to watch y'all. This is badass, man. Thanks for coming. Hell yeah. Glad you like it. It's a happy customer though. You dudes are shrinking hustle by fielding. He's doing every two minutes. I was calculating out, averaging. He has a fucking line over there. He's I know, he's got two cents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He sold them sticker combo packs with shirts and like glasses. I need a nigga to go legit business. Yeah. Woo! Y'all are getting hustled, son. Why don't you go over there and sell? I know. I'm uh, instigating against Fielding. I'm sorry when you watch this, Fielding. Nick, I'm getting the other drivers to go steal Fielding's ride along, so go pull up to his line and go, go rub your engine. Yeah. Yes. He's gonna be so mad. Yeah, come on. Do it right now. Let's see if anybody will get in. Here, I'll hop in the car and I'll get out. Nick's doing his work. Nick got out of the car and I was like, this isn't 
best ride of my life. Thank you so much, Nick. <laughs> oh, Harrison's doing it now. Nick. Alyssa has to defend his line now. Well, I mean, you got driver scabs coming in. What are you gonna do, Alyssa? They they paid for fielding, so all these people have already paid for fielding. Ooh, she's got a prepaid. These demo events, so this is something, um, I should have explained this earlier. Let me go to a quieter spot. Lone Star Drift doesn't typically charge for ride-alongs. Everybody can ride along in the cars for free, but specifically at demo types events where we have um, a crowd from another area. So say this crowd is from Super Lot Battle. It makes sense to like have fun, charge them because they're not friends with everybody, so they haven't done everything, like helped them with their cars and everything in the past to ride along for free, because it is very difficult and expensive to operate a drift car. So these guys are currently picking up riders, getting 20 bucks, which helps pay for the operation of the car, and it's really fun, because like to get to operate your drift car without all the expenses is awesome. And the riders absolutely love it. They like, you're not hustling a rider and taking money from someone that doesn't want it. We have the same riders sometimes, getting in every single car here sometimes the same one multiple times because it's like going on roller coaster rides you can go spend a hundred bucks and go in all these different kinds of cars 700 horsepower cars it's a good like value it's not crazy we're not hustling people and these guys are renting out the sierra cars and going for rides so for 150 bucks you can go take out an absolutely mental ride and go have fun these guys took it to a next level they went to cars and coffee which is in the front lot here Made a sign and did people enjoy it? And people were stuck. And I think yeah. that's where everyone's coming from. That's awesome. How many people are out there? Hundreds. Hundreds? It's like literally you couldn't drive through the parking lot. Is it a lot better here watching drifting than that? Oh yeah, that's what we we're telling them. It's yeah. way cooler. Go to the tower. You are viewing the aftermath of a hit. Took Zach's bumper out. No hate. No hate. Oh, look at that. They're happy. They're gonna get a hug. He gets a hug after hitting his car. No one hugs me after I hit their car. Zach lost. Zach has like a style machine now. Look at this thing. He wasn't like the super high boy, super doof, whatever thing. Is now done over a hundred, but you're actually way past that number. Yeah. But I over a hundred drivers. How many packages did you sell with like t-shirts and everything? Um honestly not as many as I thought we would. We I don't More know. than ten shirts? Uh yeah. More than twenty? Mm, around there. But over a hundred ride-alongs. That's awesome. Nice! Number one hundred! Woo! You excited? She I said it's actually way past that. Yeah, so um, I've given at least 40 ride along, free ride alongs, plus this 100 pay. Well, no, she said she lost, so like she was just collecting money for some of them and didn't count it. Uh, that also happened, yeah. Well, sometimes I'd like to go take a break or go to the bathroom, but I always took my pouch with me, which has my numbers. Feeling just said he's taking you on vacation for helping.
Good job. Well, Ooh, this thing feels super grippy. It feels really good. Yeah. You have to be kind of on power at least a little bit or else it feels like it's going to grip up and come out of drift. That's right. And I've got, I've got 40 pounds of pressure. 40? Wow. Yeah. Is it always that grippy or is it the new tires? It's always that grippy. Wow. Uh, do you want to drive it? The answer is yes. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do this. I can't believe, I don't know if I've ever really driven this car. I'm sure I have. Oh, damn it. Yeah, the last time I drove this car, the wheel actually fell off. All right, I'm gonna sign off, uh, and then maybe there'll be GoPro footage of this. He did over 2,000. I think he did like 400. Yeah, but yeah. you saw how he was monopolized. He did monopolize. <laughs> he hustled you. Straight, I, I cut you in line hey. even. I was helping. Hey, I didn't make any money. The fun me and Nick had compared to like <laughs> the stress <laughs> fielding Dude, experience was on. way worse. Yeah? Honestly, and you just had a rock arm go out. I had rock arms go out and a turbo die. No, fielding got paid for that, not me. That was fantastic. Wait, you just were a sucker then? Yeah. Damn, you chump. Fielding, how many, we uh, we tried to calculate your runs and we think you made like $2,300, is that accurate? Yeah, the IRS is gonna get after you. Well, no, nobody's gonna turn you in. Yeah. Uh, did you do that many? I did. We're proud of you. 115 paid ride along. 115? Oh, wow, we guessed exactly, is that 2,300? I don't know. I think that is. And then I did another 45 free rides. Wow. The biggest amazing thing about that is your car lasted that long yeah, and ran that many time. laps. All right. Excellent job. Thanks. Fist bump. Boom. I think he wins the demo. They probably generated total like, man, that means y'all must have generated like 15 grand probably total between all the drivers. I won the most money spent on my car today. Nope. No, you didn't. Right. I did. By a lot. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, let's not. Let's not talk about any of this. Patrick Carson did not get first place in the battle for <laughs> ticket ride rides, ride alongs, whatever. But how many did you do? You can just tell us in numbers instead of dollars and people can do the math. Uh, yeah, uh, I got it. How many you do? That's 40 something? I, I got it, I got it. He has a number. Divided by 20. 42 ride alongs. 42, 42 ride alongs. Congratulations. Two days. Cut, that was more than your paint job. Your drift car literally paid for itself because it cost you very little to drive. That is correct. Congratulations. And I, and I only used two set of free scrubs that I got. Woo! Yeah, this was an amazing surface to drive on. It literally didn't kill tires. Yeah, unbelievable. That this is, is amazing. Uh, this was a special weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping him, Andrew. Thanks for having me. All right. I'm going to try and go home eventually. Look at this little heroic car. Came back with no damage whatsoever. While Nick and Zach's cars got ripped up yeah they're dumb dumbs that's what yeah. we call them now oh, dumb dumbs At, every time they went out so I, I was like oh wait for the dumb dumbs to go out then go out with them is that what everybody calls me all the time <laughs> because i'm the one that runs into everybody probably the most yeah dumb dumb wait well that's a mustang thing i'm a mustang the person bulldog. the what the bulldog. the bulldog yeah that's a okay <laughs> we're not even gone yet and the ferrari teams are rolling in there's been Ferrari teams rolling in for like the last 10 minutes. Just like, there's line of them, like half a mile long. It's hilarious. Boom. Patrick's car, Ferrari car. 